Yes, and welcome to the very first weekend missive. You know, I've been practicing experiential social media and ethnography on social media for the past 10 years. And I meet a lot of people at conferences and meetups and professional associations, and I've learned that many of the things that I discover and learn are extremely interesting to people. And weekend missives are my attempt to share things more on a personal level. Mental doodlings, philosophical ramblings, and so forth, but they're short. So this is the very first one. And here I wanted to focus on something that uh, I think you might find very illuminating, at least I do. And this one's called Action as Language. I think that, that human beings and animals, we have a will. And that will comes out in many different ways. Our actions are reflections of this will. And one of the things that I learn constantly when I do ethnographic research of social media is that people's language, their actions, are extremely illuminating. If you want to get to know a person, just kind of turn off the soundtrack and just watch their actions. And not, not so much the content of the words that they choose, but how they, they speak, their voice. Many people call this body language. We are, we are all communicating pervasively um, our will, our actions, uh, every minute. And I think words are, are in a different category because words come through our cortex. Everything that, that, that comes through the cortex is subject to editing. I guess that's the best way to put it. When we listen to each other, what our words are, etc., it's not necessarily a reflection of the core will. And this, this comes back to relationship because um, my teams do ethnographic research of social media in order to, to develop empathy with people. And it might seem logical just to ask people what makes them feel good. But here's, here's the funny thing. Um, once you get people into their cortex, there are all kinds of, of things that might go on there. But when you, you are looking at their actions, that is typically much closer to where their core or their gut reality is. And if you want to develop a relationship or you want to develop trust, which is what my teams do when we do um, experiential social media, you really focus on that gut because that, that's the way to develop a, a really strong bond with a person or a group of people. Ego, and I say ego in, in an abstract sense, often gets in the way of connecting with people. And I'll just take myself as my, my example here. When I am interacting with other people, my ego has an agenda. And I've learned by talking with many other people that I'm not at all alone in this. As a matter of fact, I would even hazard to say that we all uh, are in a similar boat there. So if you want to connect with a person or a group, you need to get very aware of what your ego wants so you can set him aside. If I have an agenda with a person or a group, then I'm going to interpret things that they say and, and their actions according to the agenda I have. And that's, not, that get, that's, a, that's a big barrier between me and the person or the group. So as I get aware of this, I can check it. I can say, oh yes, I see ego what you want, but hold, hold the phone there. Let's really connect and see in terms of him or herself or themselves, what are these people or the, what is this person wanting? What, what is their core desire or what is their will right now? And so this enables me to accelerate how I can develop relationships and trust with people. And this is a big part of uh, my mentoring when I mentor teams in experiential social media and how to interact so we do this. You can use this in your everyday life because most of human activity revolves around 
interacting with people or thinking about interacting with people. Because as collaborative uh, social creatures, to, to exercise our will, we usually need to involve other people. This missive, this uh, weekend missive, is about the will. So I encourage you to try it and please let me know uh, through comments what you think of this and what your experiences are. If you're interested in this kind of stuff and, um, and you'd like to read in more detail, I'm going to put a slide after this video so you can follow some links if you're interested. In the meantime, I wish you a fantastic weekend. It's sunny here and I hope it's sunny wherever you are and if it's not sunny weather-wise, you can make it sunny. So um, until next time, See you later.